people can be a little bit tricky and I think that comes if you try to put in too much detail. So as a simple rule of thumb you can start off with your matchstick men just to give you some idea of how they work then get a bit more complicated put in some shoulders and a torso and the hips bit then the legs then we've got a lady with a nice hat there she is and I think that's a good way to start really and gradually build up the complexity and if you work your way and just keep practicing and playing you'll soon be developing quite a few decent figures and then you can start to put clothes on them there's her arms by her side very simple just keep it simple facing she's a lady, let's give her a bosom skirt, hands in pocket if you like there she's walking or she's standing on one leg with the other one slightly posed so keep it simple start off really 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 simple and just gradually start to get the feel of it most bodies when you're measuring have eight One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the head. Usually, if you measure eight heads, that will give you the rough outline, the rough proportion of the body. Something like that. So, if you want to check your measurements, just remember about eight to your average adult and some people are taller wider all sorts of things but that's a good a good rule a good rule of, of thumb as it were another way of thinking about your people is to think of them as shapes like that so there's the head there's the shoulder, the arms, and there's the legs. So you could start creating, if that makes you feel more comfortable, thinking about this sort of cone shape. And that might help you. Because when you start creating crowds of people, you can start off, remember, if, you, if you've got a crowd of people, if this is your person, the biggest person, at the front, and you've got a, a group and they're getting further and further away, what you need to do is to think where your last person is. So maybe you've got lots of buildings. You've got a group of people standing in front of them. There's the pavement, there we go. What happens is the people will get smaller and smaller. Actually, it should be up there. There's your vanishing point. Smaller and smaller till the last person You see, you need very little detail. You can see that that's a group of people. And if you just put in, as long as you've got that round bit on the top that says head this is a head, you can start to create quite a few little interesting scenes and then as you come further further back towards you and again I'm just using this sort of principle I'm just saying well there we go trousers, foot, 
maybe a bag looking that way so keeping it extremely simple it is of course up to you how much detail you want to put in but I think to help you with crowds remember the further people well the further anything goes away from you the less detail you can see so people are just going to be a, a, a series of, of shapes in the end and lots of heads you know if it's a crowd scene just lots of heads and you know you can see you get the shape you get the idea but as it comes nearer then you want to have more detail so as a starting point you know start off simply and gradually build up I'm offering you suggestions and then take what you want and make them your own create add to them you may have a lot of sporting interests and you want to be able to do sketches of people on the playing field or something then you will learn how to make those poses there are plenty of resources out there but just try and remember to keep it fairly simple to start with and you'll soon come up with a few convincing believable people